Welcome back to our community. I'm now talking to Chad Burke. Chad is the GIS and Mapping Coordinator for the City of Cobart. Chad, welcome to our community. Thanks, Tim. Today we're going to talk about uh, the city and how they use the GIS system along with uh, the public side and uh, behind the scenes. And First of all, just explain to me what the GIS mapping system is all about. Uh, GIS stands for uh, Geographical Information Systems. And uh, what we've been able to do is we, we can attach data to visuals on a map. So you can click on an object in a map and you can bring up all the relative data on your computer screen. You can do printouts of that. Um, what that does is that allows us to get information to our crews and to the public faster. And it also uh, uh, allows them to perform self-service uh, data mining for things that they're looking for. Well, let's start with the public side of this. Uh, what can somebody uh, go research and find out? Um, right now, we currently have uh, points of interest for cold water, quality of life things like parks, uh, the, the, the dog run uh, that we have there out uh, by Heritage. Um, you can do parcel searches to find out uh, who owns what or uh, what's for sale and things like that. Okay. And then um, you also are kind of uh, uh, making that work then at the Oak Grove Cemetery? That's correct. Uh, we've developed an application for genealogy searches and relative searches at the cemetery. Uh, previously, all of our records were stored on uh, little index cards, and then people, our staff, would have to manually go through. Uh, so you call them and say, hey, I want to know where such and such is buried. Oh, hang on a second. Yeah, or see in a couple hours, <laughs> you know. Uh, but now with the, the application, the public and or our staff can do uh, searches very quickly mm -hmm. and, and yield results. Well, I know that if you take a look at the cemetery, we went out the other day, and uh, a lot of things have been worn off. And so if you are looking for relatives, maybe, maybe not mom and dad or somebody that's recent, but, you know, if you're trying to go back in time, it's hard to find those type of things. It is hard to find. Uh, what we have is the records and um, you've got the gravestones and uh, it looks to me like uh, some gravestones were made you know uh, in the 1800s using sandstone or stuff. The erosion has worn things off so luckily we can match records up with that spot, that grave, and that, that person. Let's talk now about how the city uses it internally. What are the advantages and what are you using it for? Uh, the main thing we're using it for is city infrastructure for the utility side. We've got electric, water, wastewater, and even some telecommunications on there. Uh, that allows us to uh, track our systems and model our systems, and we use the modeling portion of that uh, to make sure our system's running at uh, um, high efficiency. Mm -hmm. Are we talking about the electrical? Are we talking about the water? Are we talking about the, the whole package here? The whole package. Okay. Um, uh, from the city side, uh, you can do tax searches and uh, you know things like that, and uh, we're looking at uh, um, adding some more features there to uh, uh, give our customers a value-added service. All right, so we can go on the website, and where do we find this information? Uh, for the cemetery, you go to coldwater.org, and there's a link called Oak Grove Cemetery. That'll take you to the cemetery application. Um, for the infrastructure or the parcel data, um, you're going to go to a Coldwater Interactive Maps. It's a little uh, map on the bottom right-hand side of the, the web page. Okay, so easy to find, easy to use, yes. and a lot of information. A lot of information. How long has it taken you to get to this point? Uh, has it been years or shorter than? It has been years. This is the second iteration of GIS since uh, we started in 2001. Uh, two years ago, we opted to uh, employ a new software package, so we've done a complete conversion. And during that time, we've been able to uh, bring in more data that we wanted and then um, expunge some data that was just no longer relevant, so we were able to clean up our system. And the system we have now is much more powerful and user-friendly and allows us to get that information out to the public. User-friendly is the key. Yes, it is. <laughs> Chad, thanks for being with us. Thanks a lot, Tim. All right, Chad Berg, he is uh, the GIS and Mapping Coordinator for the City of Coldwater. I'm Tim Hart, and you're watching Our Community.